the land of the Bible roots in considering the place where the Bible stories take place one of the most important features to notice is the flow of the roads in ancient times as today the roads go most easily through the hills rather than over them this satellite view of the Near East reveals another barrier to movement to get between the great centers of civilization in Mesopotamia and Egypt you'd have to cross the desert the desert is a significant barrier to travel in the region thus you have to go north before you can go south and heading south your way is blocked by the Lebanon and anti-Lebanon ranges thus all the traffic is channeled around the Sea of Galilee and down into the plain of Jezreel the plain of Jezreel itself is bounded uh, to the north and the south and the east and the west by steep hills as we head along those hills on the southern edge of the plain of Jezreel we come to the tell flat-sided steep mound that marks an ancient city of Megiddo Megiddo was highly significantly placed on the southern boundary of the plain and just where the road heads south through the hills through almost the only gap in the hills uh, between the plain and the sea so you can see from this map of the roads that Megiddo at the crossroads held a really important and powerful position in a similar way in Judah in the south the road runs up the spine of the hills the only sensible route to take in such rugged terrain and that's where the main towns are Jerusalem Bethlehem and Hebron and in the foothills there are two other important towns Lachish and Azekah these guard the broader valleys that lead up into the hills and so protect Judah from the west there are a few descriptions of roads in scripture Jesus talking about the man on his journey from Jerusalem to Jericho is about the only exception I can think of but nevertheless the location of the roads helps to explain the location of the battles and the reason for the battles and thus shapes the story of scripture